Hello. This video is about the HALS Race Results Boat Register. The Boat Register is one of the three main registers in HALS. The first one is the Class Register, uh, which uh, gives the details of all the different classes for which uh, you hold sailing races. The second one is this one, the Boat Register, and the other one is the Race Schedule, which um, gives the timetable of the races that your club holds um, for the different classes of boat. Now, this in the boat register you can see what you would expect in terms of the details of each individual boat. It's got things like its uh, sail number, it's got its bow number, if it has one, it's got the name of the boat, it's got the name of the owner, it's got the name of the helm, which uh, may or may not be the same as the owner, it's got the name of any crew members, and you can have more than one in this field if you like. It's got the name of the club the owner is a member of. It's got the email address at which um, the owner can be um, can be found. It's got, we'll talk about selection flags later, uh, any notes you want to write about the boat, and the type of boat. In this case, it's a Laser 4000. On the left-hand side, it's got um, an index of all the boats. So here you are, all the boats in our boat register by sail number. You can click on any of these and uh, get all of its details up, or you can you can go up and down with the page up and page down buttons on your keyboard. Uh, you can show the index by sail number. You can show the index, for instance, by boat name along the bottom here. There we are. There's all the boats by boat name. You can show them by the name of the helm or the, or the club that the uh, owner is a member of or the type of boat. But normally we show them by sail number. On the right hand side of the screen we've got a table which controls um, which classes this particular boat is a member of. Uh, you'll see the names of all of the different classes here in the table. These are taken straight out of the class register with, together with the handicap type of those classes. And uh, you can see which, one, which classes this particular boat is a member of. So this boat is a member of the all-in handicap class and of the dinghy class. Now both of those classes are RYA Portsmouth Yardstick classes, therefore we have to allocate a handicap to this boat in those classes and you can see if you click on the handicap uh, button it's got a handicap of nine, 911 Portsmouth Yardstick right from the beginning um, of all of the races um, forever. Uh, suppose at some point though that we decided that um, 911 was not the right handicap for this particular boat and we wanted to start um, giving it a different handicap in races after a particular time we can allocate a new handicap to this boat in this class so we could say, for instance, that as from the, um, the 1st of September 2012 at uh, midnight, we're going to give it a handicap of, let's say, 920. That means that in all races up to the 1st of November, it will have a handicap of 911, and all races after the 1st of September it will have a handicap of 920. And you'll note that uh, having done that, having allocated it an extra handicap um, in that particular class, the handicap value that you see here in the table has become italicized. That's just a little reminder that um, 920 is the latest handicap, but it, there are other handicaps for earlier dates that are um, hidden beneath that value. Now, how do we get boats into the boat register? Well, the simplest way, the most obvious way, is just to go to the boat uh, menu and click on that. Say you want to put in a new boat. Here we are. It's uh, brought up a new field for you. Um, it assumes initially that the sale number is 1, but that's, uh, let's uh, say, um, the real number is GBR4466, which is my own boat, bow number 0, uh, doesn't really use a bow number, we'll leave that uh, as it is. The name of the boat is Scoline. The owner is Peter Hopford. Uh, and you'll notice that the first thing it does is it assumes that as the owner I'm probably going to be the helm, but that's uh, not necessarily so, but uh, you, can, um, uh, you, you can change that if you want to. 
crew, let's say that is Rosie Hopford, uh, the club, um, and you notice that it gives you a list of the clubs which um, have previously been used. Um, in this case, the ones beginning with H, Hal Yacht Club. Well, I'm a member of Hal Yacht Club. Uh, email, put my um, email address in there. Um, and the point about the email is that it can be used um, to send an email to me as, a, as the owner of that particular boat. It can be used to um, send an email to all members of a particular class. And it can be used in um, the Howells Club Results Service to send me an email saying when I've got new results. Uh, selection flags. These are the, the flags that are used to identify particular boats for things like um, uh, eligible for particular prizes. Uh, the selection flags are things like um, the boat might be helmed by a cadet, the helm may, might be helmed by a lady member, helmsman over 50. Um, well, yes, unfortunately that applies to me. Um, you can put as many flags in as you like and you can write your own definitions for what the, um, what the flags mean. Anyway, in this case we'll say helmsman over 50, so if there were a prize in a particular race for a helm over 50, you would be able to see immediately that Scolid was eligible for it. Notes, any notes that you want to write in there, um, for instance, um, named after a drug, uh, which is the case, uh, not actually by me, but by the previous owner, um, who, who was a developer of drugs and named it after one of his favourites. Um, and then the type, uh, and again, if we start typing here, we will see a list of all of the um, all of the boats that are in the standard boat types of um, uh, available. And this is a Sigma 33. So there we are. Choose Sigma 33. Ask me if I want to update the handicaps. We'll say no to that for the moment. And you'll notice that that's already filled in for me the details of the configuration. It's a cruiser. We don't usually put in the number of persons for um, for cruisers. It's a sloop rig, conventional spinnaker, inboard engine with fixed propeller, and a thin keel. Now we have to say which uh, classes Scolin is a member of. Well, it's going to be a member of the all-in handicap class. So we'll click that. And notice that um, when when I do that, it automatically selects the um, Portsmouth Yardstick Handicap for appropriate for Sigma 33, although I could alter that if I wanted to, but that's the default. Um, it's going to be a member of the Fast Cruisers class, and it's going to be a member of an IRC class, the Hot Shots, so we can click on that. Uh, there is no predefined list of IRC numbers, so we'll have to set that ourselves, and the um, appropriate uh, IRC number I think is 0 0.912 for memory. There we go. Another thing that you can do is to read boats in from an Excel spreadsheet. Um, in the first row of the spreadsheet you have to put the the title of what's in each particular column. So you have to have in row one um, a sail number column, a bow column if you want to put bow numbers in, name for name of the boat, type type of boat, owner, helm, crew, club, email, any of the fields in the boat register you can put in the in the top row. Uh, in no particular order the um, program will go through and uh, sort the order for you. Then underneath there you put the values um, of all of those fields for each of the boats. Hal will go down and read all the boats in from this spreadsheet um, until it gets down to the point where there's no, no value in the sale number column whereupon it stops. It's worth noting that the spreadsheet has to be a, um, a, an Excel compatibility mode spreadsheet, uh, in other words a file with the XLS um, extension to the file name rather than the newer XLS X. Other features of the boat register are that you can, um, for instance, sort the, the boats or filter the boats. For instance, you might only want to show the boats in a particular class. Suppose we only wanted to see the boats that were members of the hotshot class. We could uh, do that in this way. So here we are, all of these boats. There's only, uh, what, um, seven of them, seven boats in the hotshot class. Um, let's go back and show all the boats again. 
we can find a particular boat looking for its sail number, bow number, boat name, helm uh, or email address. We can um, show only the boats that are not in any particular class. This is a, just something that you might like to do to make sure that you've got all of your boats in one class or another because if you don't have them in a class there's no, not really any point in having them in the boat register at all because they won't uh, feature in any of the races. We can update the handicaps uh, for the boats uh, according to the latest list of standard handicaps from the Portsmouth Yardstick and Small Catamaran Scheme and we can use we can use a, the results of a particular set of races to um, update your handicaps based on the Irish ecosystem of handicap updating. There's a, there's a number of things that you can print out from the boat register. You can print a list of all of the boats you can print the history of the handicaps of, uh, of the boats in any particular class. You can print a, a table of all of the classes um, across the top, all of the boats down the side with entries in the table showing which boats are members of which classes. And you can print a list of the standard handicaps from the Portsmouth Yardstick and Small Catamaran Handicap Scheme that are built into uh, HAL to help you to um, set the handicaps up quickly. And uh, I think that's all there is really to say about the boat register.